Okay, we're going to do a quick overview of some of the tools that are going to be available to you during this class. This is probably the page that you come to on the first, uh, with the first class. Uh, video will probably welcome you and start playing. Um, you can press, if it does not uh, start playing, you can press play right here to start right, the video. Welcome. This is... You can also, uh, if you want to expand the video and make it take up the full screen, you can click on this icon right here full screen and that will expand it so that you can see in greater detail. If you want to minimize the video, you can click the escape button, which is on the top left of your keyboard. And then it's smaller there. Okay. So I've paused this video, even though this starts automatically, I've paused this video so that uh, it's not going to be talking while I'm talking. Uh, so this is the welcome to class. It's going to show you your lesson. Again, you're going to be guided mostly through your video, but you can go down and look at all the different resources that are available to you as well. And then after you're done watching the video, you want to start lesson number one. This is the introduction. This is the welcome. So then you're going to start lesson number one. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take you to lesson number one. You can kind of see an overview of the different lessons that are going to be available to you although you're going to be going lesson by lesson. Once you're done with one lesson, you'll be able to move to the next lesson. You don't want to jump ahead. Um, so we're going to go to lessons one, lesson number one, basics of a page, but I go there by clicking start lesson number one after listening to this introduction. I do that, and again, this is probably going to start automatically, so I'm going to All stop right, it and um, make sure nothing else is going on in the screen. So then you're going to, this video is going to start playing, and you can read this as you go but the video is going to explain to you what you're going to be doing it's going to be teaching you a few things and then it's going to be laying out for you what your assignment is and your assignment is where you get to take the different uh, tags the different code that you learn in lesson one or lesson two and you get to actually start to use it so once you're done with the assignment once you feel like you've learned what you need to learn now it's time to try it out and the way you try it out is by clicking begin try it yourself Okay, so again, this video is going to start. I'm going to turn that off. Um, so here is where you're going to be working. This is where you're going to take what you've learned and start to use it. And this is the web editor, and this is where you're going to type in your code to make this assignment come to life. So the assignment says, well, I want you to create a title for your document. I want you to align headers. I want you to do all the stuff that you learned in lesson one. And so what you'll do is you'll type this stuff in here. Uh, for instance, let's just say we're going to align it. So I'm going to type the tags that I'm learning how to use, and then I'm going to say align this text. All right now, once I do that, I then click show web page, and it's going to show me my code. If I want to change it, if I want to add to it, I click edit, and then I can go in and add the different things, the different elements which are going to complete this, this assignment over here. Okay. Now, again, during this period of time, you're going to have the video running. You can listen to the video. It's going to be kind of guiding you step by step through what you need to do. But let's just say for the sake of argument that you, you forgot and you want to go back and watch the video that taught you how to do all this stuff in the first place. Well, then you click Review Lesson, okay? And it takes you back here. Again, all right, I'm welcome to turn that off. It takes you back here so you can review the lesson that you went through. Um, let's say that you... Uh, want to see, well, hey, Mr. O'Leary, what would this code look like once it's done? Well, you can click sample code and you can see all the code that makes up uh, a web page that fulfills this assignment. And so I can click on that and I can see that and then I can go back and look at the code and I can say, oh, right, I forgot. Okay, this is how you do this. And right, here's how you do this. And so you can even copy this uh, and take it into your um, page right here, edit. Uh, you can let's give a second here. So you can go in here and you can type the code. As long as you're typing it and seeing what is happening, that's fine. Copying code is what people do. Um, you, in fact, some of the things we're going to learn in the future is how to do it even more efficiently and spend less time doing code. But what you really want to do is understand how tags work. Um, so once you're done with your page and once you've looked at your page and said, yes, I've done all the things on the assignment, they all are here in the page, at that point you would click final and that's when you're actually submitting the page for me to review it. Okay. Um, a couple other things you can do during the lesson. 
If you are confused, um, I have listed here all the tags that you're going to be using on any particular lesson. And if you're like, if you want to ask yourself, well, wait, what's H1 again? You can click that, and up here it will give you a little description of what H1 is. Or you can click here and say, what's center again? Well, you go up here and it'll show you what center is. The other thing is, if you're really, really confused and you want sort of, you know, help immediately, you click help right here, and this is where you can send me a message. Uh, Mr. O'Leary can't remember how to center text. And you click text and it will send me an email and a text. And then I will try to get back to you so that, and we'll put a message up here that says you have a new message, okay? Uh, but these are the things that you're gonna be using throughout the lesson. Just to review, you click edit. This is gonna let you make changes to, this is your editor where you're gonna be typing in your code. You click show web page to see that. If you ever need to review a lesson, you can do it here. Um, if you want to look at what the final product right, well, might this look is, like, uh... click sample code. If you want to look what that would look like on a web page, this is the code, of course. If you want to look at what that would look like on the web page, you click show web page. And then once you're done, you click final. All right. And then all these other tools are here to support you. All right. Good luck. And if you need any help, make sure that you use the help button to text me.